is I am going to go over um, the rules of radicals. Now, obviously, I wanted to go over the rules of exponents for you guys so you have a basis for what this is going to be because once we start going over the rules of radicals, students start getting a lot very much confused. But I really want to be able to direct you guys to them. The powers of that, or the rules, are going to be almost exactly um, identical. For the product rule, when we're looking into the product rule, I simply, the main important thing is if I have square root of x times the square root of y, I'm simply just going to multiply them. That's x times y. So when you have radicands, but the main important thing is you also have to have, they both have to be the square root, though. Okay. So just like the base had to be the same, when you're multiplying radicals, the roots have to be the same. For instance, the square root of x times the cube root of x, or even if it's y, is still just going to be the square root of x times the cube root of y. So you can only multiply radical expressions when the root is exactly the same. Does that make sense? Yeah. And whatever's under there, you can go ahead and multiply. And that is exactly true for the quotient. Now, the way that we like to write the quotient, if I have the square root of x over the square root of y, let's do cube root of x over cube root of y. To rewrite this, that is simply going to be the cube root of x over y. Um, so you said what you said last time, again, I don't really know what you said. You said so, if you, what you, the cube, the cube, the cube, the cube, the cube. As long as the roots are the same, you can divide the radicands, the numbers under the radical. And you keep the root the same. But you can only apply these operations when the root is the same. For example, you cannot multiply square root of x times the cube root of y because the roots are not the same. You have a square and you have a cube root. All right, now let's get into some where a lot of students, again, make their mistakes. Okay, When we're dealing with sum, just like with, just like with the exponents, when you are combining radical expressions, you have to have the exact same root and you have to have the exact same radicand. So therefore, I can only add the square root of x plus the square root of x is equal to 2 square root of x. So the root and the, and the radicand have to exactly be the same, just like with over there, just like with exponents. And then again, the same thing. Here comes the misconceptions. The square root of x plus the cube root of y. Guys, um, or actually, let's just use x again. If the roots are not the same, you cannot add them together. So that just becomes the square root of x plus the cube root of x. If the radicands are not the same, again, you cannot combine them. So it just remains the same expression. So what I want to do is just provide you guys with this because we're going to use the product rule a lot. But it's very important you understand we can only multiply when the, ra the roots are the same. And then you just multiply what it is. They don't, the radicands don't have to be the same. Just the root. What power you're taking the root of. Um, that works for product and quotient. However, if you're going to be adding and subtracting, which we'll be doing today, you have to have the same root as well as the same radicand. Yeah. Sure. Anybody 